Mini games, mini games, mini games, mini games. Mini games, Mickey games, min min games, many games, many games. <laughs> mini games have been around for hundreds of years, dating back to at least ancient Egyptian times. I believe it was the great pharaoh. <laughs> Sorry, no, my dog just jumped off the desk, but yeah, ancient Egypt. Since then, these small games inside games have only grown in popularity, becoming a staple in some series like Final Fantasy, Shenmue, and of course those darn Mario parties. When you really get that water hot and start boiling everything down, there's really only two kinds of mini games. There's number one, optional, and number two, mandatory. As far as the optional mini games go, for me, for my money, you know it's gotta be the Yakuza games, you know I'm nutty about those things. I find myself spending more time playing these silly little games in these games than the actual story. But hey, that's just me. Maybe you're more like my wife and find yourself drawn to the mutant Tamagotchis that are Chows from the uh, Chow Garden minigame in Sonic Adventure 2. Or, or, or you were like me growing up playing the Dragon Ball Z Budokai and Budokai Tenkaichi games and you know all about a whole other kind of minigame. The lost but not forgotten loading screen minigame. You know, none of these games are game of the year or anything, these, these tiny little loading screen mini games. It's mostly just mashing X to make Goku climb a tower or a bunch of Cybermen to come out of the ground or, you know, make Goku eat a bunch of food. You know, but it gave you something to do and even kind of a goal to achieve instead of just looking at some dust or a picture of a shit looking horse. But then everything changed when Namco attacked. In 1998, they ruined everything by putting a patent on these playable loading screen mini games and prevented anyone else but them from having fun. The patent did expire in 2017, but it feels like the damage was already done. It created this long era of just an absence of this fun idea. That, however, was not the end of clever-ish use of mini games at all. Since then, developers have come to love including mini games in nearly everything. Occasionally you'll even see developers throw in mini games based on full size games from the past, like when Naughty Dog put in Crash Bandicoot inside Uncharted 4 and you're just playing that game inside of another game. Like that's some Inception level stuff. It's not too different from when Nintendo forced us to play the Donkey Kong arcade game inside DK64, but the big difference of course being that uh, that sucked and that, that was awful. Another classic developer go-to is the fishing minigame. These guys cannot get enough of the stuff. And if it's not fishing, it's lockpicking and lockpicking and lockpick. And this is what I meant by mandatory type minigames. No longer is this a fun activity for your little ADHD brain to sink its little wrinkles into. No, 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 you have to do this to move on. Even a game like Spider-Man that so perfectly nails the fluidity of movement that you really need in a Spider-Man game, chooses to bog itself down with these tedious hacking style mini games that just kind of suck. And they know they kind of suck because they include the option to skip all of them. But there is a kind of mandatory mini game that doesn't suck. And they are the games that are built to be about mini games. I'm talking WarioWare or Mario Party. I mean, the WarioWare games thrive by letting players just bask in the variety and the random ideas that Nintendo just tries to come up with for their games. I mean, <laughs> is Wario farting right now? Oh my god. Mario Party, however, takes a different approach. The meat of the game takes place on a game board, much like Monopoly, Sorry, Shoots, or whatever. Uh, most of what goes on here is left to chance. A lucky dice roll can make or break a game. But in between the turns, you play these mini games, little competitions. The game is giving you the opportunity to take control of your life. No more fate or bullshit rolls or stealing stars, just pure skill-based gaming, mostly. These mini games are your chance for salvation. You win them all and you have a pretty good shot at being first when the game ends. But anybody who's played Mario Party knows that just because you have the most stars, I, I think it's safe to say that mini games are are pretty good. Okay. Bye. <laughs>